Hello everyone, this is a pretty to back with a look at what I got in the mail this past week. And it is all, all games. Uh, one deck of cards. Which is fine. Let's look at what I got. First of all, I got a game on Amazon. It's a party game, but it's a card game. And it is by University Games. Can I say game anymore? And it is Yeti Eats Alien. Which is a game where you're, you're going to be getting dealt a hand of cards and you're going to be trying to make headlines like this one to score points. Drug crazed doctor extorts mermaid. Funny, eh? And each card has a different point total and whoever gets to 500 points first wins. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's fun. A lot of funny headlines come out of it so far. It is for ages 18 and up, which is... A little bit weird. It's not really adult themed in my opinion. I, it's not like there's guilty stuff in there in my, from what I've seen. But yeah, it's kind of interesting. There is an older version that's probably more family friendly that's out there. It's also from University Games. But uh, I like it. Pretty simple, straightforward. Then I got some games here from Board Game List, one of my favorite card shops in Canada. The first one is... Big Top, which is a circus-themed oxen game. You're going to be oxening off cards and trying to get all these coins filled in all these cards by making bids. And, yeah, you're going to be trying to collect those two to win the game. Score points, little oxen game. It is by Allplay, aka BoardGameTables.com. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, another one I got is... By Daryl Chow and Origami. The first game I've gotten from them. It says, Welcome to our Garden City, which is fitting because that is what this neighborhood that I live in is called Garden City. Spoiler alert. <laughs> the game is actually called Oh My Orchids. And it's a little set collecting game where you're going to be collecting seed cards, and then you're going to use those seed cards to collect flower cards, flora cards, and then you're going to use both of those types of cards to collect orchid cards. And each one has different point totals. You don't get any points for the seed cards, I think. Or maybe you just get one point each, I'm not sure. But um, you get points for the flower and orchid cards. Pretty straightforward little game. It is originally like an Asian release, Chinese or Japanese. Actually, it's Singaporean. This is all about Singaporean plants. So it's, it's an Asian release originally. It's pretty cool. And then I got another game from Board Game Bliss. This was a pre-order I got. It actually came pretty quickly. And it's by Arcane Wonders and Funbot. And it's called Gap. And yes, it has a foiled box, which is really nice. And the cards are actually foiled as well. And it's all about trying to create a gap in the cards you're collecting. So you're going to be collecting cards uh, of different suit colors. And whichever suit you have the most in, let's say you have five green cards, and then maybe you have one red card, whatever the difference is, is how many points you're going to score for that round. So in that case, it would be four. Now, yes, it is possible to get, let's say, five green and five yellow, and then one red, perhaps. Well, you're going to get five and five for each of those two combinations for ten points, and then you go subtract one. Or maybe you have a tie for the least amount of cards. It's kind of interesting, and the cards and sounds, I'll show you. They're an okay quality, the back design is dull, but the faces are shiny. So yeah, it's pretty cool, <laughs> what it is. Simple little game. You can actually fit two decks in here, but they only have one. And then I got some games from another site, J, J Cards and Collectibles, also in Canada, also in Ontario, I think, or maybe it's Alberta, I don't recall. Uh, I got a couple of games from there. First of all, a new one from Hasbro, The Game of Life Goals. I was a fan of the Game of Life games. I, I mean, I used to play the board game back as a kid in the 90s. And so I always enjoyed that. And this is just another version of that. I previously got... The Game of Life Adventures card game. There's actually an older card game version as well, which is pretty impossible to find. Pretty hard to find. 
But this one is new and it's all about achieving life goals and getting points for that. So it's pretty cool. I liked it. And then I got Yukon Salon, which comes in a tin. However, it's a really oversized tin because it's just a small deck of cards. And it is a little game where <laughs> you're gonna be playing a stylist. You're gonna have customers that are gonna be bears, which are females, and lumberjacks, which are males. I got this game specifically because it has this Canadian theme, and I don't really have any other games that have a Canadian theme. And what you're gonna be doing is using these style cards to either give the lumberjacks a beard or the bears a hairstyle. And then you gotta convince them by rolling a die or a set of dice that are wooden dice and basically you need to beat whatever number is on there like this one is two four so it's eight you gotta roll eight or higher if you don't then you gotta make up the difference by discarding the style cards or trying to convince the bear to give you an opportunity to re-roll or the bear or the lumberjack an opportunity to re-roll by talking to them and saying hey uh is the Cordwood Johnson, sir. I think that beard really works well with that toque, and it really suits you, and all that stuff. You gotta say it for how much, how many, how much of a difference you have from what you rolled to what you needed, and once you satisfy that, then you get to re-roll again. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty interesting little game. It's by Atlas Games, uh, designed by some folks in Washington, Seattle area. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And then one more game I got from J&J, &J, and it is Setup, which you might have seen a picture of on my social media because I posted it. It's by Bezer Wizard Studio and Jacob Berg. And it's a little rummy-based set collecting game. You're trying to lay down sets of cards to score points and move your pawn around the board. And you can get bonus points if somebody uses your specific little tiles that are in your area. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I kind of look at it and I say, you know what, if uh, Sequence and Rummy Cube, which are two games that I'm a big fan of, if they had a baby, this is it. <laughs> the name, however, could use some work. I don't know how they came up with that name or why they came up with that name. I guess it's because you're potentially setting up your opponents to make more points. Anyway, pretty cool game. That is it for this week. Games, games, and more games. Next week, probably decks. We'll see. Stay tuned. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Uh, you can get most of these games uh, on Amazon for a Yeti Eats Alien. And the others, you can get them from various board game or card game subs. So that is that. We'll see you. Thanks for watching.